Hello, welcome. This is Dana from Moving on the Map with Dana. And today I thought I'd do a slightly different video than normal. Um, because this is a fitness this is a fitness vlog basically. But food is a big part of fitness. We all know that because if you're not really um eating properly, no matter what fitness you do, it's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna show you what I do quickly for lunches, and I always feel like a big salad with lots of vegetables and a few extra things that make it a little more tastier always make for a good lunch even if you don't just have this on your own um, and I'm actually just going to be using up some of the vegetables in my fridge and I'm going to make a little bit of a dressing in the jar so you know just to give people an idea what I do eat for lunch so I'm going to start with some baby spinach and I'm just gonna this is probably needs to be eaten in the next couple days so I'm just going to take a handful or two and I'm just going to give it a little rinse in this calendar so just kind of rinsing out the vegetables just a lightly just a little and I'm just gonna shake it out and then let it sit in the calendar in my sink over here so again my, my, my I'm just gonna put this into the sink and there it is in the sink okay and then we're gonna go back to chopping up the rest of the vegetables which we're gonna add to that in a minute so here I have about half of a cucumber and I'm gonna take most of it, but I'm just gonna leave a little bit for maybe a sandwich later. And I'm just going to cut off most of the stem on this cucumber. So again, I don't actually feel like, I always sometimes leave just a little bit of the stem on because, you know, there's probably some extra vitamins and stuff in there, but it's a little bit untasty to have a whole lot of the cucumber grind on it, the rind and the peel. So I'm just taking most of it off, not perfectly, just mostly. There's a little here and there. And just giving it a little slice up. Not too fat, not too slim, just about a quarter of an inch, maybe, roughly. And all the way down. And then I'm just going to cut that in half. Because I like my cucumber slices a little chunky, but not crazy chunky. So there they go. I'm putting them into, the. this looks like that, into my bowl. Okay, I have a big salad bowl and let's do the other half. So all that goes in. So that's about about a quarter of a, a cucumber. And then leftovers. So leftover vegetables I've used in the last day or two. I have half an avocado. This one is pretty ripe. It could have been a little bit better, but it's not bad. So we're gonna also just take this out. So cut, I'm just taking off the rind or the peel again. So scooping it out and getting in as much of that out as I can without keeping the rind or peel on. I'm not as good at this as I'd like to pretend. So I'm taking that off too. So this is good for extra fats, healthy fats. Sometimes I like to put um, a bit of avocado in a dressing. If you have a blender, you can, if this one's a little bit on the tough side, so I don't find it's gonna be good to blend. But I'm just cutting up this half avocado and I'll chop it up a couple more times. Again, just to throw it into the salad. So it's big chunks again, just same, almost same size as cucumber, really, very similar. And they go into the bowl. And the last um, vegetable I'm adding is the tomatoes, which I guess technically is a fruit. Before I do it, I'm just gonna take a big handful, like five or six, about five or six. And I'm gonna give them a little wash off, just a little bit under the water, lightly. And then shake them, so I'm giving them a shake. Get some of the water off it and bring this back onto my cutting board. And I'm just gonna, basically they're, they're cherry tomatoes, so I'm just gonna Cut them in half, just like so, and try not to drop any on the floor. I think there's about eight here, seven or eight maybe. And that's good. So again, a big handful of tomatoes, about half a cup there. Throw that in also with the other items. So, so far I have cucumber, avocado, and tomato. And I have my spinach, baby spinach leaves. I'm just gonna give another quick shake because they're still a little wet. They've been sitting in the sink here, just trying to dry off and I'm gonna put them all together. So from here, I just like to mix it up. So you can do this many ways. You can use your hands if you like. I'm just gonna use like two wooden utensils just to mix them up a little bit. So this is looking pretty healthy. Lots of green with the cucumber, the spinach, a little bit of tomato. And I'm definitely looking forward to eating that. But 
I still need to do a little more before I find this palpable. So I'm going to add some salad dressing. So the basics for my salad dressing is usually lime or lemon. Today it's going to be a lime. And I'm going to put it inside the jar along with some olive oil. It doesn't have to be olive oil, but olive oil is probably my favorite. So I'm just going to cut this in half. And I'm actually going to bring a little bowl out because I kind of make a lot of a mess with things. So for the salad dressing, we're going to start with the lime. And I have one of these squeezers. Someone gave this to me. It's kind of handy. So you're just going to put the um, bottom half in here. Squeeze out the juice. Squeezing that juice into the bowl. As much of it as I can. That's one half. Whoops. And I'm going on to the second half. So the other side. And lime in the bottom, squeeze through it. It's green and yellow, so I guess it's for lemons and limes. So I'm just gonna squeeze out all of that juice as much as I can. I ain't getting it all. And put these rinds away. And I got a little bit better than this one. I'm giving this one an extra squeeze because I think it wasn't as effective as the second one. Taking this lemon or lime juice, putting it into my jar. And then I don't measure things much, but I'm going to use, oops, there's my coffee, olive oil. So, I mean, I think other oils work good too. Like, um, I mean, olive oil is kind of a go-to standard, but, you know, avocado oil is kind of nice if you have that and some other nut, nut oils. And I'm basically putting about half a, no, not even half a quarter of a cup. That should be enough of the olive oil into this jar. And I'm going to add some seasoning, just a little bit. I'm going to add some black pepper. So again, I'm just gonna take some black pepper into this jar as well. Give it a shake, okay. And let me see, I might have some seasoning salt, which to be honest is not as healthy probably as regular salt, but somebody did give this to me and actually it's kind of tasty. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in, just a tiny bit, that's probably more than enough. So seasoning salt, and one last item, if I can find it. Okay, apple cider vinegar. This is supposedly really good for your digestion and helps kind of cleanse the body or I don't know, improves acidity or I don't know exactly what, but anyways, I don't like this in water. I've tried it a few times, but I don't mind it in my salad dressing and I just put a little bit in just for a little flavor and also because it's supposed to help your digestion. So that's all that I require. Then I'm just gonna cover this jar up with those four or five items, give a good shake. That's the salad dressing, that's the salad. But before I finish this, I'm actually going to add one more important item for me, and that is feta cheese. So I'm going to just add a little bit of feta cheese on top because, I mean, I love, I like vegetables, but honestly, I need something a little extra, like either some nuts or a little bit of cheese to make this a little more palpable for me. So I'm just going to take a chunk of feta, and I'm going to just kind of break it up a little bit maybe just with this fork just a little just a little just a little there we go and throw it all in top of the salad most of it's in there okay so that is it that's my salad procedures so again I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a mix and then I'm gonna put it into a slightly smaller bowl for serving so just a little bowl adding a full scoop or two of this mixture okay so some avocado some tomatoes some cucumber some spinach make sure I get a little feta in there oops they're making a mess like always okay that's it that's my serving and of course just to finish it off another quick shake of the salad dressing pour it on top just a little bit over top and voila that's my lunch okay of course I'm gonna have dessert too but it will be healthy dessert so get ready for part two thanks for joining me
Um, bon appétit.